Have you ever tried to vape? Is that better? Oh, have you? No. Oh, you sure? Positive. Are you sure? Oh, okay, I'm... what do you want me to do? Put your hand on that face. Swear I've never tried to vape. I swear I've never tried to vape. Okay, say, I swear I've never kissed a boy. I swear I've never kissed a boy. Do you swear that you love your mother? I swear. <laughs> Today? I'm going to be answering questions you guys think that I avoid. You guys know me really well, like you know a lot about me, especially when I do Q and A's. So I recently just posted on my Instagram asking questions you think I avoid or I haven't answered, be juicy. And let's just say I got a lot of questions that I definitely don't talk about or I don't feel comfortable with talking about. There's been multiple times I've probably talked about these questions. I think it's time for me to go in specifics on like why everything's happened for a reason or like, you know, you know. <laughs> so the first question is asking why you won't release your last name when your mom, Ellie, and Mark's last name is out. So I have a different last name as my family. Their last name is Delucio. That's a known fact. I still have my biological father's last name. It is different from Delucio, and it's because of privacy. I would be giving out my dad's last name as well, and that just doesn't work. Like, I can't do that. Any other YouTuber that doesn't give out their last name, it's just for privacy things and, like, stuff that is personal. Like, we keep a lot of things that are, like, family-wise and, like, just something you're not it doesn't make sense to give out to the world. So when I'm 18, I do plan on changing my last name to Delucio. I, if I wanted to change it right now, like at the age of 16, I would have to get my dad's consent. So I don't keep in contact with him anymore. I, I, I know he would say no anyways, because just of many reasons. So there's no point for me to even try. Ooh, next question is the real reason why you quit cheer. I made a video about this. I kind of explained it in full detail, but to just sum it up, it's too time consuming. It is so much money. Um, I did it for eight years. It's time for my sister to kind of like have her shot at doing sports she loves for basically years <laughs> because cheer just took up way too much time. And I also had to decide on my social life and my YouTube career. So like it was social life, regular teenager life with YouTube and social media or cheer. Cheer just, isn't gonna work out in the future. Like I don't plan on going to college first year anyways. So I was like, you know, things come to an end. So I decided to retire last year. <laughs> How innocent are you? I don't know. What do you call innocent? <laughs> Everyone has their own term for innocent. But for me, um, just to sum it up, I've never snuck out. I've never had a guy over without my parents knowing. Um, I've never vaped, I've never done drugs, I never drank. Here's a good one, I've never twerked on someone. Like at homecoming dances, I've, had, I've never done that. Um, I've never had my first kiss, I don't cuss. It's not a necessity for me in my life. Um, I've never done anything past holding hands with a guy. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm pretty innocent if that's what you consider innocent, so... How much experience with being a rebel? But it's okay, it's your life, you get to choose on what you want to do with your life, so I just choose to be a good child, I guess. <laughs> what is the biggest fight with Elizabeth? There's never been a fight, we've never been in an argument the eight years we've been friends. That's pretty impressive. That's when you know it's right. Next question. <laughs> okay, um... <laughs> Who's the mystery boy you've hung out with and are y'all talking or have you all ever talked? I have a group of three people that I hang out with. So it's me, my friend Kylie, her boyfriend, and another guy. The guy and me are not dating. We are just really, really good friends and we've hung out multiple times. And it's just a relationship where you guys are just like really cool with each other and like you can talk to each other about stuff and like friends. Like it's never gotten to the level past like boyfriend and girlfriend like it's it's never been there so there's no mystery guy um we've never talked or we're not talking it's just we're really good friends where your dad is slash what happened i don't really talk about this because it's my dad um he lives in ohio that's where i was originally born i don't see him anymore i haven't seen him in maybe four to five years it's been a while <laughs> uh i think i was 11 when i finally made a decision of like I don't want to see him anymore, there's no point for me to go, like a bunch of that stuff. Yeah, there was just 
no connection between us anymore as I got older and it just wasn't a good relationship. It was a very toxic relationship and there's just like, it was, it was bad. Like I'm not gonna go into full detail because that's something that I do keep. Like that's the reason why I avoid this question but I don't really like talking about him but just to sum it up, it was like my choice to decide to stop talking to him and I'm happy with the choice that I made. Even though he's my dad, it's just, it just didn't work out. Have you ever tried to vape? <laughs> no, I haven't. I know that people have a choice and it's their choice to start vaping and stuff. I just personally believe it is not necessary to be cool. Yeah, I just don't get the point of it. Like I'm happy with my happy lungs and I'm happy without vaping. <laughs> I just don't, I, I just don't get it. Like, mm. sorry if I offend anyone that vapes or like anything, like it's your choice. It's okay. Like I'm totally cool with people doing it. It's just like, why, like why? <laughs> Next question. Do you actually want to move? Yes, I do. I am so happy to move. You have no idea. I'm a little upset that I'm leaving my friends and all, but like, it's just right. It's the right time. I'm so ready for a new chapter. I love the house that we're moving into. I love the area and I definitely see myself being really, really happy, like happier than I am now. So yeah, this question, I just, I just, it makes me really uncomfortable because I like hate talking about this stuff, but you know, 16 and all and like, you know, pretty, you're getting to the age where you, you like, people are going to talk about this and whatever. Um, this question is just asking if I'm a virgin. Um, yes. Like I said, I have not been past the stage of holding hands with the guy, so that just says a lot. <laughs> um, um, so yeah, I am still 100% a virgin. <laughs> Next question is if I cuss around my friends or not. Tea is about to be spilled. Okay. <laughs> I don't cuss around my friends like a normal conversation. So if I was like sitting with you at lunch, I wouldn't be like, this girl, blah, 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 blah. Like I just wouldn't be cussing. Like I don't cuss in general. But I will say that I do lip sync bad words on TikTok when everyone thinks like, oh my gosh, it's like a whole like, what the heck happened to Emma? She's changing. She's becoming into this bad person. I'm like, you're kidding. <laughs> like I, Personally, I think cussing doesn't make you a bad person. Your actions make you a bas bad person and your personality. Because like, I have tons of friends that are such good people and they cuss all the time. I'm just like, where are these people getting these definitions from and assuming things? <laughs> but there's been a couple of times that I've said some bad words, but that's only when I'm singing. The only time that I will ever like say a bad word is if it's in a song. So like at my 16th birthday, I did say some bad words, but that's when I was just singing and having fun with my friends. So like, I wouldn't be cussing like right now. I wouldn't be saying like the bad words. I stick to when I'm having conversations, I stick to like frick, oh my gosh. Um, I just stick with the baby words and I'm happy with it. So yeah, I just don't think cussing is a very necessary thing for my life. So I just choose not to. <sighs> Guys, I'm so sorry. <laughs> There's so many, there's literally so many questions. Like, there's like, there's like a hundred million questions on my love life. And I'm just like, this is a question I avoid because I'm so embarrassed. Not really, but it's funny. So as we all know, so to start us off, I have not had my first kiss. Two, I don't like anyone at the moment. I am not talking to anyone. Um, there's no point for me to like anyone anyways because I'm moving schools and people at my school just, you know, just like guys are guys. So yeah, no, those, that's the sum of those questions. Um, there's really not a lot to talk about. I had one real boyfriend in fifth grade. So I don't have much experience with guys. Um, I've been in like, a talking relationship once and maybe a couple of times actually but it's never it's none of my f like friendship relationships have made it past boyfriend and girlfriend i'm sorry that you guys think that i avoid these questions like if you think about it if i did have a boyfriend and like or i was talking to someone or any of the anything of the sort i definitely would tell you guys so when the time comes, I will tell you all when I get a boyfriend. <laughs> but this is just future references. Um, I know that you guys know, want to know everything, obviously, by these questions. My relationship with whoever is not gonna be public like other people's relationships online. No, I'm not for that. So it's, I want a relationship as normal as possible. Even though YouTube is part of my life and then my boyfriend will be part of my life, like yes, he will be part of the YouTube family and stuff, like obviously because. Next question is, 
ex friendships is slash was their drama of course oh my gosh there's been so much drama with my friends in the past like you have no idea yeah i don't really want to stir the pot even though that i don't talk to people like i don't talk to those people anymore it's just I don't like bringing up things from the past, especially on YouTube because it's in the past for the reason, just saying. But yeah, there's been multiple friendships that I've had a lot of drama with and I don't regret it because I'm very happy with becoming friends with them because I have amazing memories with them, but I'm just not happy on the way we ended terms. Every friendship will eventually go through drama and that's when they end, like you know it's gonna end. I think it's just harder for me to talk about it because I've been hurt so many times with making friends. That is why I am so reserved when it comes to meeting new people and I'm so shy and I don't open up easily and it's so hard for me to trust because past friendships just, they hurt, they hurt when you, you put so much effort into it and then they just, they just disappear or they use you or just other things in general. So that's why for me, friendships are so important to me. I just can't open up to them because I just don't want to hurt. That's like, that's my, my self-defense, <laughs> if that makes sense. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with that. Oh, I want to answer this question. Have you ever had a boy hit on you? Oh my gosh, yes, multiple times. <laughs> I'm kidding. Once, once, once. Is that the Dollar Tree? This was actually in a video and it happened recently. It wasn't like he was hitting on me, but there he was flirting with me, like hardcore. Like he tried to make conversation with me and I just am so awkward with guys, especially. I just read the situation wrong and I felt really bad because my mom was like, do you not, did you not notice that he was hitting on you? I'm like, no. He works at Dollar Tree. He was, he was cute. Like he was really nice, but you know, moving anyways, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> like I'm reading all these questions and they're all just about my friendship and like love life. And I'm just like, oh my Lord. I got nothing else for you. That was the last question that I had. It was basically just mostly about actions and like love life. And I was like, okay. <laughs> but yeah, so I had a lot of fun answering these questions. I know my answers weren't as juicy as other people's answers when they do these types of videos, but I guess that's just who I am as a person. So that's the most juiciness you'll get out of me. What was the most juiciest thing? Um, um, that I had a fifth grade relationship? I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, hopefully you all enjoyed today's video. Make sure you guys give a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will see you all lovely people tomorrow back with more videos. Bye. One, two, one, two, three. I've been feeling so small. Watch the clock ticking off the wall But tonight I'm letting it go Spend my coin for sure I'm gonna be